how I calculate the profitability of my own rig that I use. Uh, I don't think anyone uses it. Hmm, decided to do a value investing vlog. Pardon me from if my pronunciation isn't good because I got also on my tongue. Happened recently that uh, one, uh, uh, my cousin asked me what is my REITs, how do I invest in REITs, what's the framework. The second thing was that when I went over to Taiwan, another investing member also asked, Hey, I mean, do you look at Singapore REITs? So I decided to document all these things into this video and this video is talking about how I calculate the profitability of my own rig that I use. Uh, I don't think anyone uses it this, in this manner because um, the end yardstick it is the amount of distributions that I get back as a unit holder. So kindly just continue to watch to that video. Uh, hey guys, um, decided to document down this whole process of uh, calculating the profitability of my REIT in a different manner because uh, when I started the whole REITs investing my yardstick was to base or perhaps my yardstick was to accumulate as much cash flow as possible and in this manner of uh, calculating the profitability of the REIT I'm excluding any external support because REITs now do have the option of uh, doing joint ventures so what I normally do is that same it's always, to grow, it's always the revenue less of the expenses and we get another property income and this is where I do things kind of different I'll use this net income but I'll less of this number so what does this number coincides or corresponds to is the share of profits of joint ventures because this is a <coughs> non-cash item plus I take it off so what I basically do is that I use this amount and that's all this to get the real profitability of the rig and in addition what I do is that because what happens to the joint managers do I totally exclude it or what should I do with it and it happens that for Singapore REITs, there's this demand of distributions. I'll add back this item, which is the dividend income. And it happened that I'm looking at some tech REIT right now because I'm just doing uh, the report in my own Excel file. And look at subtitle K. I'll scroll down K. And it's here. So this is another thing that I also uh, watch and observe in each quarterly report about the amount of dividend income that comes from the joint ventures because it's just to make sure that it is increasing all the way so it happened that uh, for Comina Investments Limited this round uh, it came down so this is how I look at uh, the profitability of the REIT and just to do a quick sneak peek right um, what I've done is that same revenue, the cost of goods sold, uh, the net property income of the REIT itself before the paper gains, and I'll include the distribution from joint ventures before I get my net profit. So, quick nutshell, uh, something has been sustaining, maybe in fact has been declining a little on the net profit margin. Uh, I guess that's probably due to the Australia property that he had, right? Because some of the uh, net profit was due to the currency exchange. Maybe the Australia dollar was stronger than Singapore dollar, thus the net profits came went up. So that's basically how I calculate the profitability of my REIT. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about the other REITs video, uh, you can head over to the playlist that I've crafted. And happy investing in REITs.